This table is actually a spinning wheel. No, it's two spinning wheels. Let me show you its features. Two factors converged to make this project. One of them was that when we moved my dear old treadle table conversion spinning wheel, the first I ever made, did not survive. So my spinning wheel did not survive the move. This part busted loose and then the table got cracked and it's actually been sitting out in the weather all winter long. So I think what I'm gonna do today is replace the table and try out this idea I've had for a 3D printed jumbo flyer for craft style yarn. Let's get started. First, I need to get this in my truck. Definitely these things have wheels, so that's not too difficult. A while back I made a video about the design process I used to make this thing, so if you'd like to see that and make your own, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Okay, so this is the table that I originally put onto this Singer sewing machine base, and you can see that it cracked once. I put together a very rude patch but with repeated soaking out in the weather, this table has become too warped to use. So I need to replace it. I originally had envisioned having multiple heads, multiple tools that I could put on top of this table and then I'd use these wing nuts to swap them out. I think I'm gonna use these wing nuts to attach a new table. And since plywood is so incredibly expensive right now, I'm gonna make my own table out of this two by four. I'm gonna cut it into four lengths, which will be about 14 inches across when I finish. And then I'll lay them out like this. And then use a little bit of that two by two to create cross braces underneath that go this way, at least two, probably three of them. And then I'll figure out some way to cut a slit in it. And I think that's gonna be our plan for the table. So let's get those pieces cut. Here we have the four pieces of two by four cut. And they're going to go on like that. Now I just need to cut the braces that are going to go on the bottom of that. If I do say so myself, it looks pretty good. The result is this. So the table is now repaired. Now it was time to build a new flyer for my new spinning wheel conversion kit. Rather than build a new flyer assembly to make a spinning wheel out of wood like I did last time, you can find a video right here where I explain the process that went into that if you want to end up designing your own. Instead of doing that, I took the flyer assembly from the 3D printed spinning wheel kit that I've been using and I just screwed it to a board. And then this right here converts this table and this treadle into a spinning wheel. All you have to do is take the flyer and put it on that flyer assembly stand like so, and then attach the drive belt that is conveniently hidden under here. When I have the other slat from the table missing, there's a gap here that allows the, the wheel to have access to this pulley. To keep it from sliding backwards and forwards on the rails that are beneath, I had these little ends 3D printed. You could also just use a block of wood with a couple of screws, and that keeps them from sliding back and forth when they're in the flipped over position. When they're in this position and I'm ready to spin, I just take out the other one, and then I use a pair of clamps to hold it in place while I'm spinning. And then when I'm ready to be done, I flip it over, it goes right back into place and I have a table again. So this is just the flyer assembly from the spinning wheel kit that I sell online. These are the 3D printed plans that I've demonstrated again in a previous video. And this works as a conversion kit to turn your regular old treadle into a spinning wheel. If you have an old Singer sewing machine base lying around like mine, you can take this assembly from the 3D printed files and convert your table into a spinning wheel like that. And for that purpose, I've actually started selling this online as a separate kit, just as a conversion kit to turn your treadle into a spinning wheel. If you're interested in this, there will be links in the description below, both to the Thingiverse file so that you can print it yourself, and also to my shop if you wanted to purchase it from me. And it, it works. This is a fully functional spinning wheel, like so. This is incredibly cool. It's simple. It's ridiculously simple and it works and it converts this into a fully functional spinning wheel. But if only it was one of those big ones like you see on Pinterest that's able to make really thick, chonky art yarn. And immediately after introducing one awesome product, I wanna show you another thing I've been working on. You know, of course, that this table has two slats. It would be a shame to waste the other one. This is phase one. And this 
is phase two. For spinning thicker art yarns, this is the new Good and Basic 3D printed treadle conversion kit that turns your good old uh, Singer sewing machine base and transforms it into a massively oversized spinning wheel for making a massively oversized thread. I have two drive bands kind of dangling off the side of this flywheel on the treadle machine. And that way I don't have to make a new drive band every time I start spinning. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do. Okay. This is the jumbo version of my flyer. And I love it. It's awesome. Look how massive that bobbin is. And this stuff is almost a quarter inch thick. And it works. I've got this pulley hooked up to the pulley that's on my Singer sewing machine base. And now I have this super thick uh, roving that I combed out. And I'm going to spin some yarn. This is so absurdly thick. I mean, this is more pleasant if you're going to be doing a lot of knitting. If you're going for weaving, I like the thinner stuff, but <laughs> this is so absurdly thick. Look at that! In the bottom, the bobbin isn't even like a quarter full, and I've already used like three slivers. That is nuts! How many wraps to the inch? Like, four? That is one way to burn through a lot of wool very, very quickly. The design for this flyer is very, very similar to the other one that I made. It is bobbin drive like the first one. It uses a leather band over the top of the orifice to generate tension, just like the first one. But there's a couple things I did a little differently. The first one of those is that I actually used a wood central shaft, which I can show you if I move that out of the way. And that is to keep noise down. Um, the metal on metal is what creates a lot of the squeaking. You could eliminate that in the other flyer by adding a little bit of grease. But this just takes the problem away entirely. And then for the shaft of the bobbin, that's actually a piece of half inch PVC pipe that you put the two 3D printed end caps on and then you have a bobbin. You'll also notice that the bobbin caps are not the same size. That gives you two different pulley sizes so that you can have two different speeds as you're treadling. Smaller pulley goes faster, larger pulley goes slower. But other than that, it's very, very similar. That threads on like so. And then the end of this shaft goes into that hole right there. And then the orifice rests in this little fork. You put the drive band over the top of the pulley of your choice, which you will have to adjust the bands for, bigger band, smaller band. And then you put the tension band in place, add the wing nut. And for spinning this thick of a yarn, you really do need a little bit of tension. And then you're ready to spin, like so. Right now I'm experimenting with two different ways to do the hooks for this particular flyer. I'm using these aluminum rods for the arms. And I've got these um, attachable things here that you can stick the, the little screw hooks into and then super glue them into place. And right now what I'm actually using to spin is one that has a little clamp that I can slide back and forth. I know some people don't prefer those, but I find it really convenient. I have really enjoyed being able to make things with 3D printing, and what I enjoy even more being able to share it. And it's funny, sharing it in both forms. If you want to download this and print it yourself, you're more than welcome to. I'll leave a link in the description below, and you can go to Thingiverse and download it yourself if you have access to a 3D printer. Almost everybody does, through either a makerspace or through uh, probably a friend of the family. But if you would like to purchase them from me, I'm also offering them on my Etsy shop. Uh, again, link in the description below. I'm going to show a little footage of how I put this thing together. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe below. And if you would like to build one of these, the links are there. One of my very favorite things about this table setup, and I, my initial design didn't even do this, but the fact that it can just be put away that easily and then turn into a fairly nondescript end table pleases me way more than I can say. It's a little bit like the book charka. It's, it's incognito spinning. This is a piece of productive machinery that can make stuff. In fact, it can make string. It can make the substance of which your clothes are made. And it's just hiding in this, in this end table.
Ajá. Se va con Oh, good. You're going to be the camera guy. Oh my gosh, it's glorious. Look at it. Oh. Yeah, we're doing some troubleshooting. Can you put that? You're doing such a good job, buddy. I just, just got the. Uh, oh, that part goes in first. Oh, hey! Nice hey. What's on the bottom? Yeah. The world is tied to the screen. Keep going. Keep going. Make it go. Make it go. Yeah. I just did it. You did. I see. Well I done. I just a spinner. I just did it. You I are a spinner. spinner. You did it. I just did this. Thank you, you did make it spin. go. Can I have a turn? Okay, are you ready for this to become That's a master trick? That's not a spin. I have okay, a spin. I'm going to disconnect this. Ready? Put that in storage somewhere, and then go whoop. If only it was one of those big ones, like you see on Pinterest, that's able to make really thick, chonky art yarn. Chonky cat butt. If only there was a chonky cat butt hair... <laughs> Sorry. ...spinning wheel. That was my bad. That was my bad. That's going in the bloopers. That makes me wonder if Murphy's hair is actually spinnable. She's a part sheep dog, so probably. Her underneath is... Her I winter hair it. is... Her winter hair would be. Yeah. Shall we try it? Oh my heavens, I think Dad would actually be behind that. That's gross. I'll make you a sweater. It would be gross. That's Mom will not like disgusting. it. disgusting. <laughs> okay, focus, focus, focus. We're focused.